can just ping me Mandal. Okay. Hello, Sambat. Sorry. Hello, Hari. Where is he? Chala, I missed to send you this document yesterday. I'll share it as app. This is for you. Windows. Okay. So till this part, it is all for Windows. So it speaks about configuring your workstation. This is all configuring your workstation, this first station. And then it is bootstrapping your node. Then running knife command. That's it. To bootstrap your node. Okay. There are actually three okay. three major steps. First one creating a Jeff server account. Creating a not creating configuring a node as one node a instance as workstation next configuring instance the node then pushing change workstation to account Next, full name changes from account to node. That's it. This will be the five steps. We have created a server account. We are configuring instances to the workstation. We are working on this part. We had some issues today. Let's see how it goes. So first, how are we going to configure a node is very simple. Just you have to permit root login. Okay. So if, if you are not permitting it, you know, allowing it to log in as a root, then it then whatever if you are trying to log in, not uh, not B, but actually the server is trying to log in and if it is not having a root login access what happens it will not have proper privileges on this EC2 instance but if we allow it to log in as a root it will have full control over this instance that's the reason because if we need to stop and start services or, or if we need to open you know place some files in var lib or etc folder normal user will not have permissions or privileges. This whereas a root user only will have privileges for it so for that reason we need to permit root login as equals to yes Stroll on. so very simple 
just open SSH configuration file in the instance, whichever uh, you want to make it as a node that is onto which we have to push our configurations. Very simple. Just create that EC2 instance, log into that EC2 instance, and make sure that in SSH conf con permit root login will be no. Okay, so just make it yes and restart SSH service. That's it. But from that, we are not going to do anything else. Just to start our server. So once our server is started, so this is the service is started, that's it, a node is fully configured. Okay, means now without this, if you bootstrap a node, so we'll be bootstrapping a node actually. So without this, if I'm bootstrapping a node, what happens is, it will not have proper, proper rights to log in and execute all the commands here. That's reason. First step would be actually changing the permit root login equals to yes and a node. Step by step. He has logged into yes account. We have created an account at the rent administration. You can start the quiz and download it to our website. Organization. If you want, you can create a new organization. Right? Then you can do the quiz. You can download a certificate. Once the certificate is downloaded, we have this do an analysis command to extract it. And then run curl hyphen and actually opsco.com slash just slash install not effect slash sudo dot bash which will install check on your workstation. Okay. You can download check. So once it is done, so knife hyphen me create knife.rb okay dot knife hyphen v okay cd knife hyphen v. We have to create a knife.rb file that's there, which is already there because we have this file already there. We have we have it in inside chef repository. If it is not there, so we have we are supposed to create a knife.rb file, okay in .chef folder. But we already have it in a knife.rb. So very simple. In knife.rb I have to put a organization name hyphen validate.pem. Okay. The name, whatever is the username, .pm file. both of them, yeah, two of them we are done. And we are supposed to do a knife configure, yes, we are done with the same. Here, yeah, here comes the measure part. We are supposed to bootstrap the node. That's it. So after this, we can directly write recipe. Let's see why it's troubling us. First, create one more easy instance for a node. Configure it and review it. Meanwhile, we'll start our workstation even.
Step by step. Usually, you start this. station login to check For instance, running. We clear everything and do it fresh. All this seal.
Okay, this is uh, organization which I created. Now, create a new user. These are the groups and We have an organization, we have a user. Fine. So now okay, that's the user for this. Right user. Now we have a user associated with our organization, whatever we have created, and the node is empty. Your instance, whatever we wanted to create as a node first, SSH to this. It's a small task. First, complete it. Then we'll go to workstation and. We'll just recheck what we have done yesterday. In a sense, you see to hyphen user. So once we are logged in, 
<coughs> so new instance, right? Just do the update. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to edit the SSHD configuration file so that we, and we need to change permit root login to yes. So so go file for nine because we'll not have privileges to open this file. slash etc a lot of files yeah this is it here Vandana, I'm unable to hear you. We are not able to hear me. Okay. Go back to the fine. BISSH slash SHT underscore configuration. So in this, if I want to search for this is how I'm going to search for it. Insert, I have gone to insert mode and this was commented earlier. I just removed the comment. Okay. So that's it. But that is the only change which we'll be doing here. So after doing this change, we have to restart SSHT SSH service so that service SSH restart or slash etc slash init dot p SSHT restart So SHT service is stuck. Whatever changes we are making in 
to any configuration files and main to any server, configuration files of a service particular in etc or in var folder uh, we need to stop and start the service so that system actually picks the new changes whichever is configured inside it or else it will stick with the old cache data only so it, what it, what happens is whenever a service gets started it reads all the parameters right so whatever whatever are the parameters when it is started it considers only only those parameters even after you make changes also but it will be getting updated only once you stop and start the service so once SHD service stop inside that's it you are done with the node no more work with the node log off from node just log in any log off means just uh, you can close that session okay so just now we will log into our workstation for and so see Open a new session. So once we are here, already have a static it. Anyways, we want to really download a new static it. Organization, click on the organization because organization is what is different now.
and they need to fish. Let's see. Why it is constant.
I'm just going to get So we have downloaded the static kit. After downloading our static kit, we have unzipped it. We got a check before once we answer. user.pm file which we have. We have a micro.rv file along with which we have to create a <coughs> create one more uh, val validation dot pen file. So we need to use an audience. How are we going to update an audience? It says a organization name has been validated dot pen. So what is the organization name? Yes, nine one two dot validated dot pen. That's your organization dot. Sorry, hyphen. Validate. Dot. Insert. Put it in insert mode. Better yesterday. Organizations. 
organization visit validation key reset key Client validator cannot be loaded. permissions here. I'm going to put my face to the shoe. So what is it? So what is it?
continue. Yes. Is it key? Find with another organization when it said reset key. It went ahead and reset us key. to bootstrap it that should complete it. Uh, I share you the document uh, sample just try it from your end even just try creating a fresh account and running it. I'll also create a new account and try and try it out, okay? Yeah sure. There's some issue with this account even because I've been using I think it's in the long time. Let's uh, try to create a fresh account and do it. Okay. So, anyways, you have an option to create a fresh account. So, just start, start, look into it. It's a step-by-step -step procedure which is which is given. Just you can um, come till here and just see whether you can reset the validated or PM file. That's fine. So, rest. I thought this, just bootstrap the note and then we'll write a recipe. So, very simple task. Okay. Yeah, Hello. sure. Uh, just share Hello, me the documents. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, I can still hear you. I'll share it to you, sir. Yeah, sure. Thank you. You can see, uh, you can you can work out in Windows or in a Linux environment. Anything is fine. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yes, you can me. either do it in a Windows or Linux environment, whichever is comfortable for you. Yes, yeah, sure. You can I'll do it in either Linux or Windows environment. Yeah, yeah, I'll try them. Uh, yes, I'll try it in Windows itself because I even have WinSAP installed, so I'll just try on Windows. And if I don't get it on Windows, then I'll try on Linux. Better, okay. Sure. Now, how in Windows instance, right? Yeah, I mean the same way we do for the Linux instance, right? We'll select the no, no, no. No, 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 no. Microsoft. Actually, you have to generate a, you'll have an option. If it's a Windows instance, you'll get Windows password. So you have to log in with MSTSC. So here you have to give the IP, then connect. It will ask you for a username and a password. Username and pass username will be administrated and password will be generated from here. Okay. Whatever password you're generating from here, Actually, that you I have can't to see your screen. Oh I stop sharing. Okay, chalo. So chalo here. Get MSTSC. Here you have to give your IP address, whatever you are copying here, and then click connect, which will ask you for a username and password. So, password, get Windows password. It's a Windows instance, this will be enabled. Get Windows password, it will ask you for a key. After giving a key, it will generate your uh, username and a password. Give that username and password, so in that MSTC credentials, you will be able to log into your instance. Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's in Windows. So if you're not able to figure out how to log into Windows, you know, uh, this, is the, this is the way to connect to it. If you're not able to connect to it, try it out on Linux, okay? Yeah, sure. First, I'll just try on Windows because uh, Linux I've been using, so I'll just try it on Windows. If I can't figure it out, then I'll yeah, try on yeah, Linux. Yeah, 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 it's the same, only the way in which you connect to it. You do it well. If you're not able to connect, tomorrow I'll continue show you, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, chalo, bye. Bye.
uh, you will be sharing the document right hello shiva shiva 